Ooh, was I happy to get this in the mail today. She arrived the same day as the Headmaster RC, and it is the Figma Metroid Prime Samus. Now, I do remember Samus from Other M was my first ever Figma. Um, she was based off of what was then the most recent game, so it made sense since this would be fresher in everyone's memory. But the thing is, like, um, given the way the game was received, it, like, I liked Other M. I did. But I know a lot of people didn't. But there's one thing that we can all agree on Metroid Prime was awesome. We all liked Metroid Prime, and we all liked the look of her suit. In fact, comparing it to the Amiibo, um, the way the Varia suit looks in Metroid Prime is actually more similar to the iconic way that the Varia suit looks in almost every game. Other M actually took design liberties with the Varia suit, like not having these fins on the shoulder pads, which a lot of people, you know, didn't like. So, yes, we have the most iconic version of Samus' armor right here! And, um, and, like, the box is pretty minimalistic. It just has, like, Samus pick glamour shots on the, on the sides. Ways you can pose a figure on the back. I love how they, they show off the back of the figure with her giving a waving gesture. And, of course, you gotta have that three-point landing because that's an iconic Samus pose. Again, reference, Nendro reference Amiibo. Uh, so let's crack open this box and take a look at my wonderful new figure that just arrived. And here is our Metroid Prime Samus out of the packaging. She comes with a few bits. Um, the missile attachment for her arm cannon. Three alternate left hands. You have her iconic thumbs up. You have a relaxed pose hand. And a more splayed open hand. She also comes with the traditional morph ball. Which is significantly larger than her shoulder pads. Um, it has a really nice metallic green down the middle, and uh, there is a texture in the black stripes. Very nice. So size-wise, um, the, the Varia suit is pretty much the same size as the other M's Varia suit, although it is uh, slightly differently proportioned. The head is a little bit bigger, the chest is a little bit wider. Not major differences, but just enough to be noticeable. And for comparison, here's Zero Suit Samus. As you can see, like, you always kind of wonder how Samus actually gets into that thing. Like, it must actually just change her proportions. Or, I think I heard something about, like, like, the Chozo Suit turning her body into energy or something like that. Or, I don't know. It probably just has something to do with the art style. Let's not question it too much. Okay, so let's break down the articulation, which seems to be a little bit better than the, uh, than the other M suit. Uh, first, her head at first seems a little bit restricted. It can turn left and right a bit. It can cock a bit, look up and down. But then, they put, they put the neck on this extendable bit, so she can get much more up looks and much more down looks. It looks a little bit weird from the back because you can see the gap that accommodates the, this articulation, but from the front, um, with the extended neck covered by the helmet, it actually looks pretty good. And you're only really going to use that for, for more extreme poses like, um, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, her shoulders are pretty unique. They're like on a ball joint hinge, and like uh, there's a ball joint on up here, and then under here there's like a second ball joint. And you can actually get her arm all the way up into a tree pose, which is pretty cool. And like the way they did it, a gap can form, but you can kind of futz around and re-kajigger the, the, the thing. Like I, I got a gap going on here, but if I, if I futz with the internal anatomy of this shoulder joint, I'm pretty sure I could get it to look like the, the other arm. But you don't really tree pose Samus very much. You want to... You want to do things like get her arm up in front of her like this. That looks cool. Uh, there is, you know, there's basically Figma joints everywhere. So um, there's, you get a bit of a bicep swivel. It actually goes outwards better than inwards. 
Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, the elbows go just a little bit beyond 90, not that far beyond. Actually, I think this might be one of the areas where the other M suit has her beat, probably because of the sculpt of her bicep armor makes it easier for her to get a deeper curl in. Although if you look, um, instead of just having green paint on her gems, they're actual transparent bits, which are green behind them. That's really cool. Those are inlays, and they make the suit look so much better. That looks great. The way it catches the light and internally reflects, it just looks unbelievably freaking awesome. I love that. Uh, she has ab crunch, so she can arch her back and crunch down. Um, and there is a little plate here in the armor. It goes in and out. There's actually little plates here on her hips that go outward so that her hips don't clip into her, into her like that. So you can get a bit more wide-legged. And if you want to get even more wide-legged, you can pull up like this. Look at that. That keep it contiguous. So her legs can go really far out. That's about as much outward splay as I've been able to get, but that's quite a, a lot. Really, that's to accommodate high, um, high leg poses like this. So you can bend it back down for her iconic, you know, how Samus is often depicted kneeling down like that. And then you can... You can get a good, yeah, the extending neck thing helps with getting her to look back up from her crouching position. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just kind of messing around. Uh, okay, so let's, let's uh, go ahead and just pop out her hand. There's a Figma joint there. Uh, you can do that, you know. So you get wrist rotation and a wrist hinge. Let's put on the splayed open hand because ee. we all know the splayed open hand is uh, the one that braces itself on, on the cannon. You know, we all we all know that. <laughs> I am really just kind of doing off the cuff here, but you know, she's really posable. She's really awesome. So she got really deep knee bends, really good ankles. Like, look at that. Look at where that cut is. See? That's a solid piece. It's attached to this hinge that gets the foot forward and backwards. And then there's this thing that does this. Eh, it's cool. And then of course she has a toe joint because because figmas are really cool with articulation like that and they have toe joints. Look at that. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, this like this is basically everyone's iconic perfect look of Samus. Like like I'm pretty sure if they release this Samus first then they never would have sold the other M suit because everybody prefers this suit. This is this is your definitive Samus that everybody wants. Um, I'm pretty sure they wanted this in the first place and were upset that the other M Samus got first dibs. But holy crap, this is really nice. Like she just looks awesome from every angle. I mean, they even got every every detail of her back. It's true. Maybe you can make the argument that they, they skipped on a little bit of paint app, but you know, we're doing the other M suit and uh, it didn't have quite this much greeble. Um, this is, like I said, her, her, um, her amiibo is quite amazing and lovely, but it is based on the uh, Return of Samus look, which although very similar to the, to the uh, Prime outfit, is just that sight a little bit different. So, you know, that's that. Alright, so this has been my review of the other M Samus. She is, um, other M. This is, well actually, I guess I should show off one more thing. Uh, it's funny, th this one doesn't come with the pews that the, that the other M costume had. Um, and it doesn't come with any missiles to put in the missile launching attachment either. I you know, I kind of don't like that. I wish, I mean, I would have sacrificed that morph ball if uh, they could have given us some firing stuff, like a missile gimmick or, you know, a missile, a charge shot, you know, anything. But, yeah. I mean, you got to admit that at least that looks cool. So, yeah, this is the... She, she's going to cost you about 70 bucks, and then to uh, have her shipped in from Japan is probably going to bring it up to 80 So she's not a cheap figure, but then again, she's a Figma. If you're collecting Figmas, you're not looking for cheap figures. But 
Gosh darn it, she is just so damn awesome. So I would, if you're really a big fan of Samus, this is the definitive one. This is the closest thing to a perfect Samus figure that we're probably ever going to get. And I would totally recommend her to huge Metroid fans such as myself. Alright, this is Wake Games of 2001, and I'm signing off.